You ever just get so sad that you have to like rub the thing you're sad about against your face? Because I just did that. I was swinging around essentially this toy that's a string attached to a ball. I, I was swinging around so much the ball just flew off into the other direction somewhere over there in my room and then I'm a little bit sad, but what's up you beautiful people? Stone here, and today we're back in Autonauts, and what are we doing exactly? Why was I on that menu? I don't know. What are we getting into today besides, holy hot damn, those pies are getting high to this guy. Sky high pie, that's what we're up to right now, unintentionally, but we got some butter to make we got some pies to make we're gonna make making some clothing entertainment we need to make better toys some we gotta make medicine out of leeches yeah that's great and better houses and then we can upgrade our whole place and that like uh i gotta get work i got something i gotta show you something and that's the last little bit of butter i needed to make what are we getting for this making butter boys mad hatter's hat for making butter Here's your farming livestock commemorative slab. Oh, and we're getting ready to build bigger houses. What else do we need for these? We're still on, these are stage three. This is still on stage one. I need some more. Uh, I'm making some of these, but for some reason, wait, I don't want my bucket anymore. Leave the bucket right there. When you do this, the windmill goes crazy. The power goes crazy. And then you can't put something else back in here until these stop beeping for whatever reason. So. You gotta like wait for this to calm down. Oh, you can see it's about ready to generate some more power and now it's ready. Okay, I get you what you're talking about and throwing down right now. But we need to bring these over to the house and the easiest way to do that is just to slap them on up into here. And then we pick this up and we get on our moving. That's a lot of supplies. Oh yeah, stomp on all this different kinds of wood to make. What are we making any second now? <gasps> there's another stage. Oh no, I didn't know there's another stage. Okay, so I made this alchemy station, but apparently it needs 120 power, so I'd otherwise have to make three windmills to hook up to this thing, or figure out how much power this gives me but i oh, 18 logs now oh my sheesh and i figured i'd put the lab over here because this is where i'm gonna get the leeches and then this is just gonna be the whole this is gonna be this area the alchemy area as i'm gonna call it the bog and how's this moving it's moving up we need chimneys more mortar hell a ton of bricks good thing i already have all these things basically made besides the chimneys but she, the sheeshening is upon us. You gotta be kidding me! I just realized I've been looking at this. I've been, uh, what's st what step are we on? It's a five out of seven, and then I realize going in here, just looking everything over again, seeing what I have to do. I have to build a fourth house. This whole time it's just been three. All of a sudden we get to brick houses, and you want four of them, you greedy bastards. Well, I guess you're gonna get what you want now, aren't you? How's our oh floating pie to the sky? How does that work? What are we at here? Still the same? Yeah, because I've been just trying to work on automations. I've got a cursed robot here. It's like half dog, half uh, the the one from the Jetsons. Then it's got a log thing that it, it freaking maneuvers around on. So cursed. I don't know why I did that, but I did. And then, yeah, they're, they're making the triangles for me because I'm going to need quite a few of those. Twelve to be precise. We got a bunch of stuff going on over here. The wood beams. I got to make some chimneys. We got to rearrange all this crap so i can start making better fertilizer and hay and something i mean what's the purpose of like just making all this better besides it looking nice and we can have the barn finally inside here i'm gonna have to get rid of all this grass though okay i guess this is really worth it but now i need a robots um taking the grass from here making hay filling this hay up Oh, this is going to be nice. And then I already went ahead and made these. So I'm going to plop these down in here too. In just a second now. For a while for me. This is going to all look so nice. Huh. Guess I'm going to have to do a wee bit of reprogramming. Also, I have one too many sheep. So I'm going to have to call the herd a little bit. And get me another cow. If you know what I mean. Also, the coolest thing in the world is right here. I call this my Rex dog. He's made out of dog parts, and so he's made out of like Mach 1 parts and Mach 2 parts, like Mach 2 variant one. 
Like this guy and then the dog pieces. Like, is it, it, that's like one of the coolest things I ever made. I made the coolest thing I've ever seen in this game and the creepiest thing I've ever made. Both variant dog things. Whoa, this is cool too. I thought this would take, so every time you put some poop in or dung, it like goes up by intervals of three for some reason. That's why it's at 99. But once you get to 100, you can just pull these out in the hundreds? That's pretty dope. This is actually a lot better than I thought it was. I thought I would have had to put in like 34 dung to get like one super fertilizer, but that's that's not the case. I also I fixed them the milker. Now I gotta fix the shearer, so I'm I'm gonna be on that. Oh yeah, this makes 150 energy. This was most likely worth it. I like it. Okay. This thing's just the most expensive astronomical thing I've ever had to build in my life, probably. It took like 24 panels to make this thing. And I know I already have like 28 more, but sheesh, having to haul those all on over? Now, how do I get power to this thing? Can I do it with one, one, uh, freaking line or whatever you want to call it also? Let's just get these closer and see if I can't do uh, one of these. Yes, you, everything about you, move on over. Except for maybe, uh, the tree. So can I just spin you right round, baby, right round? Like a record? Like a record and make it so a tree's not in your way? That looks pretty nice to me. But it's on your backside. Okay, so we're gonna have to flip you around and make a, make a line, most likely. Let me just flip this around quick to see. Uh, wait, not did it again. A flip flip. And then just like that. And yeah, we need a string. The moment of truth and power is right now. There we are. Nice. Now what kind of stuff can we make in this alchemy station? We can make... What is this? Medical leech? Well, we need four leeches fresh water and a clay jar oh my goodness we gotta start making clay jars where do i do that this is where all my clay stuff is but i don't have one of these ready and whipping up to make clay jars so i'm gonna have to make another one i'm gonna have to make like a clay station over here just where everything is made so the guy that's making these doesn't have to walk that far besides just the water and then I need a, I need some guy just getting leeches all day, every day. That sounds gruesome. I don't want to be that bot, but somebody's going to get that job. Yes, they will. What's going on over here, though? This is at six or seven. Oh, yeah, roof tiles. How the frick do I make roof tiles now? Let me go over, over here and check it out. Also, how many chimneys do we got going on? Two, four, six. <gasps> we have enough chimneys. Wait, that's not how you make roof tiles. How the flip do you make roof tiles? So a little bit of an update before I stop for today because I woke up real early and I'm starting to get a wee bit tired and I don't want to record out of energy. I want to be on point, up to snuff and entertaining and I don't feel like, I feel like it's starting to drain so let's just, I, I want to know when I come back where I'm at. So we're making, I found out how to make roof tiles. You make them in an upgraded... What are these? Crude clay station. I had to upgrade it and then when you upgrade it, it costs power. And now I'm thinking that it costs the same thing to make bricks as it does roof tiles. Uh, for the most part, yeah, it's all one, one, one. So I could copy this guy's brains and then put it in a different bot. So I gotta make that bot up. What are these? These guys are going good. Why does this only have one plank? Didn't I have Bob or Cobb start doing this? What is your guys' problem? Do we... Are we out of... What? Wait. That's his problem. You're freaking... You're holding a freaking brick. You can't pick up wood if you got brick in your hand. Silly boy. And then... Yeah, I built a kiln over there. Ooh, auto mining. Minerals mine 2,000. I think I also got auto fruity earlier. So I mined 2,000 pieces of fruit. So yeah, clay jars. I'm also going to need uh, a place that just makes the clay, j the raw clay jars. Um, which I think I can do with just a regular clay pot station. No, I can't. What the? 
I have to make another one of these? Oh boy, I have to make another one of those. Freaking, does that mean another windmill perhaps? I'm gonna have to make this station bigger or make a different place where I'm making the pots. Maybe I'll make bolt the pots over here. Maybe I'll make it so this can also take the power. It only have 30 left, so no, that's probably not good. But maybe if I get a windmill and this hooked up to something, I can, um... Yeah, 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 sounds good, sounds good, and what else are we doing? Oh, I made it so these toy horse carts are basically, so I got more robots. One's building good wheels, one's building box frames, and then I just have to build a bot that can just, like, put them all together very nicely. And then I like that I have the good wheels here with the string so I can make more uh, poles easier, like these poles, what are these called, the power supply? Holes. And I like this little guy. He's got like little hands, little elf head, big feet. I really like been giving everybody the big feet. I think I gave somebody else the big feet too that I just built. Who did I build recently? Where? Oh, the guy with the box frames maybe? I don't know. He's around here someplace. Box frame boy? We also have a freaking uh, fixing peg epidemic yet again oh there he is he's down there he's just such a tiny boy he don't have big legs i was thinking about giving him big legs i thought i gave somebody oh i guess this is the guy i'm think i'm thinking of the little hands little head big big legs and then this is my favorite one so far is the one that's been given um the hay to my uh, beasties the beastie boy himself the rex dog i should actually call you rex dog whoa where the frick is my vision going but yeah it's going to be a different day for me when I come back, but uh, if for you, it only be a few seconds. It's a new beautiful day, and I've been working on a lot of stuff. And what we are working on is we almost have this all the way done. I had to make a lot of window frames, so we got a guy making window frames. We got a lot of guys doing a lot of stuff. I got I to gotta build these. This is all new and done up over here. Nicely done. I got somebody doing making clay jars this is basically all set up i'm just in the process of making a guy right now that can make the medicinal leeches and everything should be fine um what else have we worked on there's some stuff over here i needed roof tiles so i got a whole roof tile thing going up on over here the brick boys i so i've been trying to keep like a theme so these are like the two brick boys they well one makes bricks and the other one that they're like the the making stuff out of clay boys more than the brick boys. One of them is only the brick boy. Then you got the leech boys that get the leeches and make the leeching stuff and everything's good over here. The clay pot boys except for this guy's really his only job is to take from here, put in here, put in here, and then occasionally put wood in there too. So he's got one of the easiest jobs in the game. I'm having to expand the kitchen a little bit because we need two tables in here one to make pastry and one to actually make the raw pies but uh, other than just like getting a lot of stuff done I haven't really made any progress on the lists yet uh, because we're just the freaking the hole we're having to go down for these quests right now is just so like gigantically deep this thing over here is almost done i've um i just got to program a guy to make these and then we should be fine but the yeah the problem right now is just the panel situation i need more guys making panels this is not built right here i, I gotta move this this is just like it being an eyesore but i gotta if i want to be more efficient right now also the pole situation sucks which is some, what i'm trying to figure out right now so do i do i want more of these putting planks into poles you also get more resources out of using these bench saws. So it takes a lot to make. Because obviously they need walls, flooring, lots of materials to make it. But then once you do, you can turn a material, like one singular material, into more material. Because generally, like these things, these chopping blocks and these mechanical frame saws, they can turn like one pole into two uh, fixing pegs or like one plank into two poles but if you upgrade it to the whatever these are the bench saw the freaking mechanical it's still oh now they're just called the bench saw here's the mechanical bench saw 
So they, they're not mechanical when you upgrade them? Well, whatever. They upgraded the better one. Takes like one pole and turns it into three fixing pegs or one plank into three poles. So you're just getting more resources, which is awesome. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to have to build a house. I'm trying to figure out where I want to put it because I definitely want this speed. And then I do want also another person making square frames and panels because everything's needing right now. And I thought I had a good supply, but they're being burnt out so quickly. And everything I need needs panels, even freaking new robots. Like right here, I need a panel for this guy. I can actually go over here and steal one and finish this guy up and have him start making those medicinal leeches. Why is it so big though? What? Look how big these are. You think this? That ain't that big. This? Humongous. There's no excuse for how big, why this is so big. Are there even any leeches in here? I guess, the, oh there are. They're like stuck up onto the sides if I get over on this angle we could see it a lot better yeah there's only two of them in there you put four in but you only get two and then magically the pot gets so much bigger well the robots aren't always using this machine like there's a lot of downtime for these machines i don't have to build more machines i just have to build more robots so i built a bunch of the um mark ones because they don't cost any panels to make just logs acorns poles and planks for the most part or for all the part, just in different uh, varieties. But yeah, now I, was, I have two people working each of these. I have three robots working this. So I've my fixing pegs and my pole production just skyrocketed with me not really having to do a lot. Like, this is freaking awesome. Now, in turn, these guys making the square frames and the panels should be working real fast, too, because now they never have to wait around, because usually they'd have to wait around here. Fixing pegs, still a, a little bit rough, because I think I'm only making, like, what's that, 10 every couple seconds, where people are, like, this needs, like, 4, this needs 4, this needs, like, everything over here costs fi uh, fixing pegs, so maybe I should make some more make another one of these with three more robots like that would be ridiculous but then this thing should always be full no excuses so as i take over my four door frames that i'm going to use in a second i just want to show you that this has gone even more crazy i've had to go i have had to play the loop-de-loop -loop game a few times with this i've had to make it make even more planks make even more poles make even more fixing like i have six dudes here making the fixing pegs now like three on this machine three on this machine i have th uh two or three dudes turning logs into planks because my planks got down real fast once i made these three guys so it might happen again and i might have to loop de loop for a third fourth time i also doubled production of this tree farm over here and th this tree farm over here and because we are needing some logs they started to go down everything's looking kind of good right now my poles are suffering so maybe that's that's just because i just made three more of these guys and i haven't made any more guys that turn planks into poles so maybe i need more but there's already three guys on each one of these machines maybe i need another machine but let's i put that down here let's build these houses and i think we'll get out of here for this part because this part has taken me about eight hours to do i wanted to finish all the quests up for today but uh that ain't that just ain't gonna happen i i don't want i don't want yeah i just don't want so i i, I like to I, I got like add man i not that i'm bored of this game it's just i want to i want to switch it up i want to play some other stuff i'm playing ancestors i'm kind of really flirting with the idea of playing some sort of nuzlocke on um pokemon what is it infinite fusions that's been like a real hit lately wait what's going on i thought i'd get a certificate for building these houses oh i have to put the folk in there let's go big babies giant baby folk of all let's go why so i was thinking about this earlier like why are we making medicine if we put them in a big house all of a sudden they're gonna be dis oh my god he's diseased he's got like chicken pox or shingles or something Got those big rashies going on. And are these babies changing color when I put them in the houses? I thought I had like one baby of each shade or something. It was pretty cool. Uh, what's going on here? It's like the babies of the, the skin tone rainbow. We got antlers. Why would we need antlers? Here's your shelter commemorative slab. Shelter six. Wait, stage six shelters complete. But now they're all ugly. Oh, and I got to figure out what to do with them. And I got to burn all these little hearts. But whilst I do that, I'm going to say sayonara. Uh, sayonara, you beautiful people. I can't even say goodbye properly because of how much of my brain I've had to use. Also, 
This guy right here is just... I don't know what this Leech Brothers problem is, but it just ain't working for me. I'm trying to get it so he can, like, he puts down the hand net when he's picking up a leech. He puts it in the in the crate, and then he goes and picks up his freaking his net again. But then when his net's not there, he's just, like, busted, and I don't know how to fix that problem. I'm going to have to play around a little more. I've, I've tried a few different solutions. Nothing's working besides just resetting him somehow. Wait, let me just do this. Make sure that he's doing his thing. Wait, what's what's going on? What the frick? I've also been running into some glitches today where just screens disappear. I can't click my buttons, but whatever. I think this game's only made by two dudes, but it's a lot of fun and I can't wait to get to the end. I just don't like how much time it's taken recently. Like to get to this stage. Maybe that's just on my bad. I just need to I just need to buckle down and put in the effort and the work and then it'll pay forward cuz a lot of the time I'm just like scrambling and I guess that's where my time's going but yeah I'm gonna head on out of here we got our oh they got like billowing they're doing that kind of stuff also your houses are gonna break eventually you're gonna need your stuff we gotta go into clothes we haven't even built clothes things yet I mean I'm trying to build right here but then we ran into the not having enough panels situation I also made another guy that's making square frames it works out that two of these is perfect two guys on the same machine because uh, it takes him pretty long to get everything going, but then once they do, he's right there, he puts it away, then this guy's gonna start building. So, pretty noise, noise, noise. Yeah, so I do hope you enjoyed, I know I sure did, and if you did, remember these three things, you are beautiful, I appreciate you, and have a great one. Uh, bye bye